right, so back in my garden doing some flight testing. As you may have seen from previous videos, I had a bit of an oscillation, and um, I think that was largely down to compass alignment. So I've, I've made some changes, and I'm going to do some test flights. Now, the, there seems to be a little bit of confusion. So the, the Radical Rocket is obviously my um, blog, and it's a progressive development, and it's um, doing different aerospace, spacey type things that uh, I've always wanted to do. And this particular um, vehicle is the RR01. This is a single fan, so it's a Radical Rocket RR01. Okay, it's single fan, vector thrusted, uh, flight control system test platform. So the idea is that once I've perfected the flight control system, uh, which is effectively balancing a vehicle on a column of thrust, that same flight control system can be used for various other thrust methods, not limited to a fan. Um, hot stuff, obviously, I'm not going to use plastic flaps. I'd use um, Inconel or titanium or stainless steel, some other type of flaps, or even a vector thrusted nozzle, and look at some other ways of rotation. So this is a development platform or a test bed, if you like, a bit like um, NASA's uh, flying bedstead um, uh, back, back years and years ago. So made some changes, um, going to do some flight testing. Hopefully I've got rid of that oscillation. Um, if I have, then we'll put the payload uh, system back on and see if we can lift some other things. Here we go.
to the garage. As you can see, that flight went really, really well. I've managed to completely eliminate that weird uh, sort of oscillation that I had since the crash and that sort of weird yaw wobble has returned. So I'm pretty sure that's just a setting that I need to change because a, um, a lot of the settings are new uh, with the new compass on there. So that's something that I can look at and, and get rid of again. Uh, the, I've got the RR02 currently in development, which is a, a counter rotating inline ducted fan. It's using two much, much smaller 70 millimeter fans, which are a lot lighter. And what that should do is eliminate that uh, torque like thrust, when it, when it uh, throttles up, you get that kind of torque that you might have seen in videos where it turns and then it compensates for it. So should it completely eliminate that? Also, um, it will uh, stop a lot of the gyroscopic effect because it's two much, much lighter fans. They're actually vastly lighter as a pair um, than this particular fan unit with its big carbon uh, nylon, uh, carbon reinforced nylon blades. So yeah, I've got that in development. I also got something else as well on the drawing board with regards to the RR01 and the RR02. Uh, so got that coming. So yeah, a really successful day. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.